Grinders and Grindettes, what's happening? This you got a black abstract. You are locked in once again, and I appreciate you. Welcome to my channel uh, where we'll we cover everything in the culture, hip hop, R&B, pop, uh, reactions, uh, reviews, everything under the sun. That's what I do. Uh, so I'm a rapper, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm strategic. So I tell, I got a side where I teach you how to do it yourself videos for homeowners, and then I got music videos and stuff that I release. I got my music video, Mom, which I just released in March which is dedicated to my uh, late grandma. Check that out. I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you want to check that out. And I'll leave a link to the playlist from my other reaction videos. So today we are reacting to Omarion and Mario are doing a versus. Yes, Omarion and Mario. And when I first heard about this, I wasn't mad at it. I wasn't mad at it because I think they kind of like... I would say they kind of the same level. Uh, you know, one might be over the other, depending on who you are as a person. But I think they both definitely same era. Came, came out probably around the same time. Uh, and, and both had a trajectory in their careers where they had ups and downs and, and comebacks and whatnot of that. So it's going to be interesting to see this. Uh, you know, I think they were, they went on tour, a couple of tours together too probably back in the day. Uh, I'm not sure, but definitely early 2000s uh, was their era. You know, they had all the little high school girls in my school uh, singing these songs, annoying the hell out of me. Uh, but anyway, let's see what it says here. Uh, this is according to Vibe.com. Uh, it says, Marion and Mario have been announced as the competing performances for the next verses set for Thursday, June 23rd. The event will happen in Los Angeles and be streamed across Versus digital platforms. According to a press release, both singers predicted their appearance in recent interviews before the matchup was official. Uh, I think there's a few people out there that I could do, but it's a small class of people who perform like myself, remarked Mario on a Big Terror show. O would be the only right, O would be the only right fit for the people, uh, said Mario to the shade room. Um, a lot of people want to see Mario against, I mean, Omarion against uh, the likes of like Chris Brown, Usher, but I don't think he's had the career those two had, and in, in as, as far as staying power and consistency. So I think that kind of cancels him out. Uh, even though he's a dancer, and uh, he he falls into that. Nobody. It's a certain class of people that actually dance. So nobody is is a great and elite dancer like Omarion is, except with the likes of like Chris Brown and, and you know Usher. If you do put Usher in that category, you know that sing and dance uh, category. It's a lot of other people that do it, but I'm talking about Lam uh, Marion has had uh, a lot better career than a lot of R and B artists. So especially as a soloist as well as a group member. So. Um, uh, for the first time in Celebrity Series history, the main event will be supplemented with an additional battle. So we also get additional battles as well. It says a bonus versus featuring Team Ray J and Bobby V taking on Team Pleasure P and Sammy will also take place, adding to the just, uh, nostalgic R&B night. Uh, this is the cure for, for amnesia. My day ones already know the vibes I'm bringing, wrote Mario on Instagram, sharing the news. This is about to be fun and much needed re-education for you bots. Share to Mario. True R&B rules the soul. I will say that about both gentlemen. Both have released some classic records, some great records, uh, in true and tried R&B fashion. These are the epitome of just classic R&B no filter, none of them fusion, just great R&B records from both these gentlemen. Um, and they also have had great collabs with other artists with the fusion of uh, hip-hop, um, as well as collaborating with other people. Like I said, Omarion comes from a group who collaborated with the likes of Diddy. Uh, you also see him um, uh, with uh, Janae Aiko and Chris Brown on his, his last single, I believe it was uh, Close to Me. I think that was his last hit single, which was a great album, by the way. The album that was on there, that was my shit. I, man, I remember doing some crazy things to that album. Shout out to you, O. That, uh, that album was fire, man. Uh, se what is it called? Um, Was it Sex Playlist? Yeah, Sex Playlist or Love and Other Drugs. Whatever he decided to name that album. His last, that shit was fire. Uh, now, Mario, um, uh, Mario, you know, he started with... Um, you know, Just a Friend, the remake, which kind of got some kind of backlash at first, but I think it's cooler heads prevailed and people thought about it. They were like, yo, this ain't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he came out with uh, Braid My Hair. 
And then it's just been on and on from there. You should let me love you, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The, why would you, the breakup with Gucci Man and, and, and uh, what's the guy's name? Sean Garrett. So he, same thing with Omarion. I mean, same thing with uh, Omarion. It's just been a host and host of hits from B2K to this to that, um, up to his solar endeavors. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. So who I'm going to go for this versus, I'm going to have to go with Omarion. I just think Omarion's career is just too, I think he's just had a longer run. So therefore, I think his career or his 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 hits and whatnot are going to go the distance. And I think he's going to oust Mario because I think Mario's going to run out of steam. And Mario played a bunch of songs that uh, the, the normal fans might not necessarily know because they weren't singles. And then I think that's when Mario will come with the, the, the backup hits that he came had later on in his career. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, as always, let me know who you guys think is the winner or think is going to win. Uh, and we'll see after the verses. I'll do a recap song by song, and we'll see who the winner is. Oh, and as far as Ray J and Sammy uh, and, and Pleasure P... Um, who's going to win that battle? Let me see. I'm going to go with, I'm definitely going with Team Ray J and Bobby V. <laughs> like, Bobby V is another showman who is just crazy out of his world. Pleasure P had two songs, Boyfriend Number 2 and, and Under, and he had a slew of hits with Pretty Ricky as well. But, you know, I think Ray J just had a bunch of hits. Ray J got some shit too, and Bobby V got definitely got some hits, man. He's a true R&B showman. Uh, who takes the craft very serious. Sammy had maybe one or two songs. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens, though. Push your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and the notification bell. As always, peace, love, and prosperity. Check out my video, Mom, here, and check out my playlist here. Peace.